So, you've got your camera, you are ready to go out and take photos, but where are you legally allowed to go and take photos of buses? A few things that you need to ask yourself before you make the decision whether or not you're in the right or in the wrong. Question number one, are you on public or private land? Because it's very important. If you are on private land, you do not have the right to take photographs without permission. Full stop. No, oh, but I'm not hurting anyone. No, oh, but so-and-so was allowed to do it. No, oh, that's not fair. Full stop, that is the law. If you're on private property, you can't take photos unless you're given permission. Now, a lot of places really don't care. And if you ask nicely, they'll happily give you permission. Train stations, for example. But it's their choice, it's not your choice. If you're on public land, however, you can take photographs. You can't be moved on by private security. They can't inspect your equipment. They can't stop you taking photographs. The police, can move you on if they believe you're causing a nuisance or an obstruction. So for example, if you've got a massive great big tripod and you're blocking a pavement, stopping people from getting past, yes, they can move you on, okay? But that's it. That also goes for Adopted Highway, which is a privately owned um, road pavement, but is maintained by public money. So if the council maintains it, you're pretty much assured that it's adopted highway and there you can take photos but bus stations are usually private property so you can't walk in and take photos not legally you might get away with it they might let you do it if you ask nicely they might say you can but as we all know a lot of them don't and they're in the right not you next thing to consider can you take photos of people? If you're on private land, again, no. If you're on public land, yes. But there's a huge caveat on that because the... Because the law is actually a bit grey in that area. Just because you can take a photo doesn't mean you should. And it certainly won't help you if someone takes offence and decides to give you a bit of a beaten up or smash a camera or sue you. It's not gonna help. So basically, yes, you can, but don't be an idiot about it. So can a bus driver stop you taking photos of their bus, even with them driving it, if they're on the public highway? No. They can't. They have no legal right to do that. Uh, won't stop some of them trying, but let's be honest, it's just crappy customer service, isn't it? What about if you're on the bus when they're driving it? Well, then they can, because buses count as private property, therefore they can stop you taking photos. The law is on their side. That said, if you're on an in-service bus, you're not causing any problems, you're being discreet, you're not upsetting anyone or anything like that you'll probably be okay but they can stop you and if they ask you to stop you should and finally what about all this GDPR stuff that's come into effect well um, I think the bottom line with that is we're all just gonna have to wait and see uh, there is some exclusions which may or may not apply to what you're doing but right now, nobody knows. So we're just gonna have to wait for a court case and then we'll find out. Finally, most important thing, don't be an idiot. Know your rights, find out what they are, but be sensible. Because it doesn't matter at the end of the day if the law is on your side or it's on somebody else's side. If you end up getting in 
a fight or a brawl or accused of something, you know, there's so many great areas but it won't stop people taking offence. So don't be an idiot. Find out what the law says but then be sensible. I'll put some links below on to a blog post that we've got on the website and some other links to places where you can find out more about this. Rules can be slightly different in different countries. Uh, I've researched England because that's where I live and it's mainly where I shoot. But find out for yourself and have fun. Take care. Click like, subscribe, comment, etc. All those things. And uh, don't forget to check out the website and the blog post on this topic. Take care. Bye-bye.